Jason here with Clear Creek Farm. How we doing tonight? Um, just been asked a few times and stuff about a video on how to keep your boar box gentle, I guess it would be what you'd call it, um, where they're not aggressive or not mean. So this buck here we got is SGR, Mr. Mystery. Um, he is pushing 300 pounds, 300 plus. Um, one thing we do with our older bucks, or actually all our bucks, they always have another doe with them, um, or a buck. This doe here is a doe we bought a few years back and we can't get her bred. So she's basically a companion animal, a very expensive companion animal because we spent pretty good money on them. Um, one thing we do, and this is just us, because we are a show family, a show herd, um, all our bucks are actually, they, we, they're in the show ring. Um, so, these guys here are, we, we show them. Um, so that's what we do with them. Um, we try not to um, touch their faces. Um, if we want to pet them, we take and pet them back here on the shoulder or something like that. And usually they're pretty good about it. Um, when it's deer in rut, all bucks are going to be a little pushy. Um, we've had bucks that are really pushy that we ended up sending down the road. Um, we don't keep them around and we don't sell them to somebody else that are looking for a calm, cool buck. Um, them bucks usually and stuff go to a home that either, um, you know, either they take and just pasture raise them um all our bucks are lead chain trained um and we try to train the bucks like him here if my wife is cleaning the pen you know he knows if we come in here we want him to go outside we just basically talk to him and say hey go outside um sometimes it works sometimes it don't but he's not gonna get he's not gonna get pushy with you. Um, if you can tell and stuff, he's not mean. He's you know he's not going after me for being standing here outside the pen. Um, I can get in the pen with him, and usually he's all right. Um, and he don't try to get too pushy with us. Um, he knows if I go in there, I want him outside. So he's gonna go outside. If I have a lead with me. Um, we, you know, have him broke to put a lead on him. And once he gets a lead on him, even the one that got kind of aggressive on us, um, to me, he wasn't that super aggressive, but to my wife, my wife just didn't, don't like that around. We have two young girls that are five and six and they go out here and they play with the animals all the time. So, you know, we can't take that chance that one of them will decide to, go into the barn and do something that they're not supposed to. I mean, right here, this is natural behavior. They're gonna rub, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna scratch themselves. I mean, they're like anything, they're itchy. Um, we're gonna go over here and check out a couple little guys here and see what we're, we do with them. All right, now we're over here with the younger guys. Um, that is, uh, uh, cruise control um, he is a young buck he is probably six months old um, we have him trained to the lead he goes to shows with us um, he's all right to handle um, he don't come after us like I said before we if we want to pet them we pet them behind their shoulders we don't play with their heads um, and 
With him, usually, you come in here to the pen and probably if I move towards him, he'll end up backing up and getting out of my way. Um, he, he don't want to be handled if you don't have to. Um, this other guy down here below me is, um, this is, if I can get it to zoom in, this is um, rolling coal. Um, so he's a little weather bred and out of our Shipley's Midnight Stroll, um, he it was a bottle baby. So he's a little bit more gentle um, in the aspect of, you know, he, he wants attention all the time. Um, but like we, I said, we keep our bucks with other bucks or with does um, or companion animals. We want them to, you know, be around other animals. We get in there, we handle them as much as possible. If we they get aggressive and stuff, we try to correct that. Um, it's hard to get Cole here on video because he wants to either be in the food or in your face um, because he is a bottle baby. I mean, but best thing to do when you're in here, you're, you know, remember you know they're they're animals they always can get mean if they want we don't want them to get mean so that's what we try to do is not handle them up by their heads if most we do up by their heads is put a collar on them for the show ring um, we have our bucks trained to a show lead um, so that they're ready to go in the ring. They're not gonna fight us. Um, this guy over here, see, like I said before, he's, he's more interested in getting away from me. That's the best way to train your bucks. When you come into the pen, especially, you know, that they're ready to get, they wanna stay away from you. But in the same aspect, you can get them in the pen, you know, where you can catch them. They they want that, you know, you gotta be able to catch them. You gotta be able to work them. But it's just one of them things. Um, now you got, you got Mr. Cole back here. Uh, he is, down here he, he you know he's he's good with being right here with you because he's a bottle baby you know he he, he he don't mind the interaction he's still young he's six eight months old um so he's one of them bucks that'll probably be an easy guy to handle all the time um just because being a bottle baby so yes that's what we do mm-hmm bucks out of recips um milkman um was their sire um we like with these guys too and stuff we try to be in here we try to get um where we're getting our hands on them trying to gentle them down we don't want mean bucks um and if you interact with them you use proper etiquette by trying to stay away from their face as much as possible, you know, you're gonna have gentle bucks. Um, there's some that'll just be really want to stay away from you. Some of them will wanna be right there in front of you, like this little guy we got down here below us here. Um, he was a recip, but, or out of a recip, but he, his mom did not produce a lot of milk right off the beginning. So we ended up having to put him on a bottle for a while um, until his mom's milk came in because it was a first time recip. Um, if you don't know what recips are, um, I'll try to get a video out about what recips are and how that all works. Um, so if you can tell, these guys, that's one of these two twins here, um, recip mom. Um, so you know, that's not their mom, real mom. That's recent mom. This other one, little guy down here in front of me. Um, this guy here, he the bottle baby. 
um, that's his recent mom. So, you know, these guys, we try to have interaction with them. And that's the best thing you can do. Spend time with your animals. Does, bucks, anything. Um, because if not, you're going to end up having mean animals that you don't want to have around your farm. I mean, just like that there. I mean, he's trying to get pushy with me um, here on my hand. But this is just because he's trying to smell it. He's not trying to be mean. But, you know, I try to move it away and stay away from that pushing motion because we don't want that to happen. We don't want them to push, especially on us. They want, we want to keep them so they're gentle. We don't want them to think, oh, when I walk in the pen, I can push on them push on you so that's what you want to try to do is keep away from any action that's showing that they could be dominant so um that's what we do to keep our bucks so they're gentle um where they don't get too pushy um it's one of them things where you got to work with them you're not going to be able to just put two bucks together that come out of a pen that are never been into a pen together um you just can't do that it's really hard they will work their way out work their um where they're gonna be good together but then sometimes you get them two hard-headed bucks especially older ones young ones you can do that but then you work them hard-headed bucks and they'll sit there and beat the crap out of each other until they're dead. You don't want that, especially if you spend any good money for your bucks. And I hate to say it, a buck is 70 to 80% of your herd. Um, and if you're spending 70 to 80% of your herd money on that buck, you're spending four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000, if not more than that even. Um, all depends on what you're looking for. So, I mean... It's one of them things where it's a give and take. We try not to keep more than two to three bucks around here. We got them young bucks in the back room there with their recent moms. Uh, we got SDR Mr. Mystery, which is a uh, buck we bought two years ago. Um, the two young bucks, uh, um, Roland Cole and Cruise Control, um, them are one was out of a flush we did um with another farm so he's actually would have been on a recip so we ended up bottle feeding him so he cole he's pretty nice um and gentle um cruise control was out of a buck out of um tennessee there so like i said like share um, subscribe if you're not subscribed and look for, forward to seeing you on the next video.